Today's the feast of St. Clair, a woman who was so impressed by St. Francis of Assisi that she asked to follow him in a life of strict simplicity and poverty, and thus began a new religious order that has come to be known as the Poor Clares. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and did you know that in 1958, Pope Pius XII named St. Clair the patron saint of television? Now, Claire lived 700 years before the invention of television. Why on earth is she its patron? Well, the story goes that on Christmas Eve in the year 1252, Claire was too sick to participate in Mass. But she was given a great grace. From a wall in her room, she saw and heard the Mass that was being celebrated in the convent chapel. On the 50th anniversary of Pope Pius's declaration of St. Clair as the patron saint of television, Cardinal Tarciso Bertoni said, St. Clair is not only the patron of television, but she can also teach us the correct use of this media. Mass media tend to impose a uniform cultural model based on the logic of consumerism and relativism. The example of St. Clair, on the other hand, helps us to rediscover the dignity of the person and values such as family, life, education, and youth. On this day when we honor St. Clair of Assisi, let's examine our own use of television and other media. Do you watch programs that reverence human life and sexuality or programs that denigrate it? Do the television shows you watch fill you with all that is noble and good or are they part of what Pope John Paul called the culture of death. St. Paul reminds us to fill our minds with good things, and that should determine our use of television.